Yo, welcome to today's video. This is a quick update on where to connect the extended battery to a Nissan Leaf. This is the junction box that contains the relay, uh, uh, pre-charge resistor, and some other stuff. Yeah, this side comes from the front of the back of the car, entering into the battery. Both sides, positive and negative, going through. This one goes through the pre-charge resistor and straight to this current sensor the current sensor senses the what goes into the battery and what comes out of the battery yes one of my good friend mentioned that there's a shunt somewhere in this thing i look everywhere i can find a shunt but what i see is also very helpful i noticed that he bypassed this guy and this guy is a current sensor we all made our connection from here and here from these two points into the battery this is the main positive and the main negative of the battery but what he did now was to get something to bypass this guy by coming from this end over to this end looking at these two connection here you will, to that uh, relay you will notice that this end goes to the back and that is the resistor that's the Pre-charge resistor right there. The pre-charge resistor goes back up there, and you see it here. See the pre-charge pre -charge resistor coming back up here, and this relay controls the pre-charge resistor and back to this guy. You can see it's all the pre-charge resistor. So what he did was to connect his extended battery to this point, which I so much appreciate that he made that discovery. It's going to help everybody to this point bypassing the current sensor by so doing he was able to get put more 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 charges into the battery for the car to use that's just the update i have for everybody okay i'll try and do it myself but not now all right bye for now